back the Yari. Surrey has played midfield on this team, but with Mike Fall back on the roster, they are able to move Surrey back on D to replace Tozer, and Mike Fall would play midfield on the other line. Yeah, I, I, Mike Fall uh, adding to this team really helps him, and uh, Surrey is a natural defender anyway, and uh, he belongs in the back. He's Marquia. I don't know knee, how many times. That right knee taped up pretty heavy. Uh, not quite as bad as Schlotthauer's, but Looks like he's had some work done on that thing. I'm looking at a big game out of Kia because uh, I, I know Kia over the years, Surrey's marked him, and Kia's done well, uh, done well against him. So look Kia. for Kia to have a nice game. Kia with uh, Maurer, the forwards, Don Tobin at midfield, Oscar Pisano and uh, Tom Kondrich on D. Invaders in the home gray, black shorts, black numerals, red and black trim, Louisville. Jerseys are black and gold, gold on the top and the bottom, black diagonal stripe through the middle across the shoulders gold numerals black shorts Louisville the visiting team with a kickoff and Jim Gabera drops it back to Surrey right side at midfield it comes to Helen Camp Gabera with a sweep Helen Camp tries to dump it in and Tomo Tomo Kondrich clears to midfield Surrey lost the ball Maurer gets around him and Surrey with a foul that'll be the first foul on Louisville and Surrey goes down with the injury and he's grabbing that knee that we had talked about a second ago he, he kind of got inside and tried to get Maurer out of the way, and uh, Steve Maurer's too big to do that, too. I, I think that was another bad call by the officials. I'm not going to pick on him today, Bobby, but uh, I think Not Steve, at all, right? No. <laughs> I think Steve kept his balance, and he had key on a two-on-one, and I think he took an advantage away from us, but uh, I guess Surrey's hurt, and maybe that's why he called uh, blew the whistle. Surrey gets the foul, the first of the game. We played only 12 seconds. And he is requiring some assistance to get off the field. And it appears it is that right knee that was pretty heavily taped up when he came in. Now, they have a problem, I'm afraid, if they have to go too far deep on their bench on defense right now. Well, they're in the same boat we are. But uh, Surrey, he's a gutsy player. We played against him many times. 
hobbling off. I don't know. I'd be surprised the way he oh, looks. Yeah, he looks in pain. If you see him again. Now, their other defenders would probably be uh, Cato and Mahalik. And after they get past them, they don't have another defender listed on the roster here. I don't know who would go back there and play. I, I think uh, Suri's brother might go back. I think he's out there now. He's, he's wearing number five. Is that Moise Suri? Yeah, he's got number five on today. Is that, Sur is that Moise Suri or is that Gerald McGlynn? I'm not sure who that number five is. We'll try to find out. I don't think they have a number five on the sheet that they gave us, dude. Oh, it is Moise Suri. Okay. It is Moise Suri. Oscar Pizzano midfield. Bakhtiari deflects away from Maurer and Zoran Savic up the left side. Maurer got a piece of that from behind, but Savic able to get around Kondrich. Wall feed and Gabera couldn't get the shot, and Tomo comes the other way for the invaders. Kia clears the head on the left side, and he chases back to midfield to take the pass. Knocks it away from Moise Suri. And Pisano comes up through the midfield circle. Oscar down to the right side of the floor, going in on uh, Zoran Savic. Stops in the corner on the right side, spins to the back, and uh, taken away by Savic. And the Thunder come the other way on the counterattack. Lead ball up the right side for Jim Gabera. Kondrich on D. Gabera with a shot that is handled by Namovsky, and then he does a little tiptoe dance to stay inside the box and rolls the outlet on the right side. And Donnie Tobin has it at the red line. We played a minute and 15 seconds. Artie Kramer. Ball knocked away by Saeed Bakhtiari, and Gary Amlong has it. Now Bakhtiari left side, and they clear it up on the right, and coming up the floor with it is Yilmaz Orhan. Orhan, who we haven't seen before, drops it back at midfield to Paul Cato, and on the left side it comes to Mike Fall. Cato and Mahalik on defense, and Mike Fall through the box, and he is taken down on a good play by Kramer to scissor that ball and knock it away, and they clear it out, and red line with it is Cato. Paul Cato, right side to Orhan. Orhan working on Rudy Pikasinski. Orhan spins, and Rudy all over him on D and knocks it back out to midfield. In the circle there, it is controlled by Cato and Mahalik. Right side feed, it comes to Amlong. They feed it into Orhan, and a good save by Namoski, diving to his right to punch that away. Paxos dumps it back in the goal box, and here comes Trevor Dawkins, the invader player coach. Bad ribs and all. Mike Paxos up the right side. Ball is intercepted by Mahalik, but taken back by Paxos. In the corner for Rudy on the right side. Rudy with a wall pass. Cato knocks that clear. And Paul Cato comes out across the Thunder red line. Forward it comes for uh, Mahalik. Mahalik whiffed on the shot as Paxos had position. And he backs it out of the corner. Midfield, it goes to Amlong, and now Cato. And Cato, the former Kalamazoo Kangaroo, has the ball knocked away by Pikasinski. And it rolls into the goal box. Namoski has it. Outlet short on the left side to Trevor Dawkins. Dawkins ahead to Magic Celestin. The Magic Man in the primo line with Pikasinski and Kramer. At the red line, a move away from Fall. Dumps it in the right corner for Rudy. Pikasinski back to the net. Double team got out of it. Feeds Magic. He dumps the right side for Kramer. And Lackawacki out of the net. He almost caught the shot by Artie right in the chest. Up was... the field it comes for Savick. Left side it goes in the corner. And this is Mike Fall. That was a good read by A.J. there coming off the boards. Magic had already wide open, and A.J. Took a, really took a gamble. He went out to try to get the rebound, and he got it. There's Magic Celeste with a go. steal as he knocked it away. Here they come three on two if they hurry. He's got Artie to his left, feeds it in the corner for Kramer. Kramer inside, knocked away by Bakhtiari, and Gabera looks for the feed. Bakhtiari double-team Kramer, and he had Rudy out front, but Lakawaki stepped in front of the pass and took it away. Right side feed to Jimmy Gabera. Gabera, red line at midfield now on the right side is Chris Hellenkamp. To the invader red line, Kondrich and Paxos await on D. Wall pass, Namovsky lost the ball, and Kondrich with a good job to knock that away. But Helen Camp powdered uh, Kondrich into the corner, and he'll get the pushing call for the second foul on Louisville. Helen Camp gave Tomo a pretty good shot there, yeah, didn't he? That was nice defense by Tomo. Tomo's so strong that uh, he, Helen Camp beat him, but Tomo gathered himself up and. Uh, Kia Wait feet nice. for Maurer. Here's Pisano out front. Kia on the left side. Puts it off the boards. Loose and knocked away by Moise Surrey. And Helen Camp has it at the red line. Kia on D. And Maurer, the double team. Steve Maurer is celebrating his birthday tonight. And he's going to get married on Saturday. And here is Gabera in the uh, Canton zone. Ball taken away on a nifty play by Donnie Tobin. Left side at midfield to Maurer. The invaders on the attack. Maurer winds, fires, good save by Lakawecki. Going down to his right to corral that one. Steven didn't get all that one. Straight ahead, Gabera. He finds Pisano waiting for him at the red line. Now Moise Suri and Savick with the ball working on Kondrich. Savick midfield circle on the retreat now. And Tomo still hounding him with that ball. Key of the double team, but Savick able to clear to Moise Suri. 
Surrey, ball taken away on a bad pass for Helen Camp, but Maurer stepped in front of it and drops it back to Oscar Pisano. 10-15 to go in the first quarter. The Invaders lead into the defensive zone is knocked away by Bakhtiari. Saeed midfield, the right side at the red line. It comes to Orhan. Orhan out front. Pisano with a deflection, but Helen Camp clears in the left side. Ball taken away by Oscar Pisano. Oscar doesn't look like he's hurt right now the way he's playing. And Maurer got inside of Orhan, and he gets the obstruction call. Orhan just a little careless there. Uh, that was a bad play by Yomas. I, I've played against Yomas in uh, Kansas City. He's a very good player uh, when he wants to play. He's one of them type of players. Three team fouls on Louisville, none on the Invaders, no score. 9.50 to play in the first quarter. Kia working on Cato, posted up at the red line, back at midfield to Tobin. Left side in the corner for Maurer. Maurer and Mahalik fight for it there, and that is going to be the first foul on the Invaders as a little bit of an elbow, they say, by uh, Steve Maurer. Mahalik, Janus Mahalik with a ball in the Thunder defensive zone. I'd let to Amlong, who sweeps into the midfield circle to Chris Hellenkamp. He wants Amlong again. Namoski way out of the net. Amlong got it back. He shoots, and Namoski punches that one into the corner. Followed by Amlong is over the glass in the stage. And it'll be a goal kick for the Invaders with 9.25 to play in period number one. Each team has had runs and made some good pressure at times. The Invaders have had a couple of their balls into the Thunder and intercepted. I think they want to be a little more careful on their passes, Timmy. Yeah, they're, they're kind of forcing it early. Uh, every time we play Louisville, Louisville comes out uh, a ball of fire against us. And last year, they went up 3-0 on us twice in a couple of games. It's, uh, we just got to be patient and play our game. And, uh, the goals will come. Trevor Dawkins with the ball in the de Invader defensive zone. Mike Paxos, right side between the red line and midfield. Back at the red line to Dawkins, left side to Celestin. Magic back to Dawkins again. I'd love to have seen Trevor play about 10 years ago. He must have been something. He's smooth now. He really is, and all that experience can't hurt you. Trevor Dawkins across the midfield line, pushes it ahead for Celestin. Celestin a race with Paul. Magic gets there first, dumps it back out on the right left point to Kramer. Kramer winds and fires, blocked by Cato, and Celestin has it back on the left side. Magic couple of steps in on Fall, and Fall will get the fourth foul on Louisville for the push on the Magic Man. And Louisville digging themselves a hole now with 8.46 in the period, and they've got only one more foul to give. That's an advantage to us. We usually get a lot of power play goals against Louisville. Celestin, left side, pushes it ahead for Rudy, who got inside. Cato looks for the feed. The ball knocked away. I thought that hit Orhan in the hand. Lackawecki way out of the net to get it ahead, and Orhan clears up the left side and then has to stop and back away as Paxos got by on D. We're kind of lucky there. Yomas didn't see Mike Fall. Mike Fall was wide open on the Orhan other side. shot blocked by Dawkins, and here comes Kramer. Sorry about that, Timmy. And here come the Invaders on the counter. Timmy will drop it back to Magic Celestin. Left side at the Invader red line. Pushes it ahead to Kramer. Kramer in the Louisville end on the left point. To Rudy, posted up. They want Artie on the feet in the corner. Mahalik knocked that away in the goal area. Kramer couldn't quite get there in time. Long lead comes to Amlong. Amlong with Dawkins on defense and Magic there to help out. Amlong moves in. Magic deflects from behind. Dawkins goes down and Amlong fires a shot that's wide to the left. And coming the other way is Kramer for the Invaders. 7.53 to go in what has been a scoreless first quarter so far. Celestin pushes it ahead. Kramer fights with Cato for the ball. It's straight up in the air. Artie couldn't find the ball. And Cato's able to hit it in the goal box for Lakowecki. Outlet comes out on the left side. And Mike Fall with it at the red line. Ball passes through the midfield circle. Right side at the red line. Gabera lost the ball off the boards. And Celestin controls for the invaders and dumps it in the goal box for Namoski. Outlet straight ahead at the red line to Artie Kramer. We're better than halfway through the first period now. 7.23 to go. And the invaders on the line change. Condridge dumps it off on the right side at midfield to Pisano. Now Kia and now Steve Maurer. Maurer working inside. Gets around Gabera. Takes back the Ari in the corner. Shot just wide to the left through the goal box. Helen Camp controls the loose rebound. Pushes it ahead to Zoran Savic in midfield. Lost the ball. Pisano took it away. And Maurer dumps it, dumps it back to Donnie Tobin. Good solid tackle by Oscar. That's Oscar we know. Lead ball in the corner for Maurer trying to work on back to Yari. Savic to double team. But Steve outside to Oscar. He shoots. No. Rebound. Maurer knocked away and controlled by Lakowecki. Outlet. Long ball. Savic got behind somebody up the left, left side. He shoots wide. Rebound. Gabera has to chase it wide in the corner. And Gabera will dish it back outside the red line on the right side to Helen Camp, and now midfield to Moe Suri. Suri, ball knocked away by Kia, but Lakowecki out of the net to clear, and he dumps it down on the invader end, and Gabera clears it middle of the floor for Savic. Savic, ball deflected from behind, 
And Zorn took a dive, and I think he got the call. Oh, that was a bad call. The referee right on the spot didn't say nothing, and the one far away called it, made the call. Second foul on the Invaders. Louisville has four. 6.26 to go in the first quarter. No score. Remember, Bobby, I'm not picking on the referees tonight. Helen Camp, <laughs> Helen Camp to put the ball in play to Sadik. Back to Helen Camp, and now Surrey. And on the left side, it comes to Saeed Bakhtiari. Bakhtiari, middle of the floor, outside the red line. Kia picked and clean. Here come the invaders the other way. Ball knocked away from behind, and Lakaweki clears it out to Gabera. Gabera, right side at midfield, ahead to Helen Camp, back to Gabera. He lost the ball in front of him. Namaski taps it out to Pisano, and Oscar with a move to get away from uh, Zoran Savic. Pisano, left side midfield for Condridge. Condridge across the red line around Gabera. He shoots, and it hit Maurer right in the chest, and it's knocked over the glass and out of play. That should be a corner kick for Canton. I believe it was Surrey who touched it last. Time out on the field with 5.55 to play in the first period. And Tim, some observations on what's happened out here so far. Both teams have had some opportunities. Nobody able to find the back of the net yet. Well, that last shot there was a little unfortunate. Steve was trying to set a screen up, and uh, the shot was rifled right at him. He couldn't get out of the way. Uh, right now, it's an even game up and down the field. I'm, uh, I'm happy for him. He deserves a break. Uh, he's done a good job at Louisville. Uh, I just wish him the best out there. Don Tobin to kick it in from the right corner for the Invaders. Maurer a step into the box and now backs away. Now Maurer cuts through inside. Kia outside. Pisano with a shot deflected and right into the arms of Lakaweki. Coming up the floor for Louisville as Mike Fall stops and Maurer took the ball away and he dumps it back at the Canton red line to Pisano. Pisano up the right side of the floor for Condridge. Condridge trying to work around Orhan, gets around him. Down in the corner to Kia, middle of the floor to Pisano. Ball knocked away by Fall in the corner. Ball clears ahead to Orhan. Orhan double teamed by Kia and Condridge, and Tomo took the ball away. And it's knocked away by Fall, and the Thunder goes the other way, but Tobin knocked it away from Fall, and Condridge controls at midfield. Now Toby, right point. Toby winds, fires, Lakaweki, save, rebound. Condridge headed it out of play. We still got the momentum going here. 518 to play in the uh, Now we get the crowd period. going into it now. Got to get the crowd in. Kenny Lola dressed tonight for the first time. He'll be our guest at halftime. And we may also have an interview with uh, Chase Edmonton, uh, writes for Soccer America. Also worked with the Pittsburgh Spirit and the Detroit Express. So we'll have some interesting conversation for you at the half. Third quarter is our contest quarter. Lakaweki outlet to Cato. Cato on the run with Kramer. Paul gets around him up the left side of the floor. He winds, he fires, and it hits the glass on the right side. And Orhan can't control. And three on two Celestin does. Here they go. Three on. It's going to be three on three as they get back. It might be four on three. Right side to Rudy. Rudy centering ball intercepted by Lakaweki. He had Kramer on the far post. I think Rudy forced that pass a little bit. I think so too. Up the right side of the floor comes Fall down in the corner. Oh, it open. is Mahalik, and Celestin knocks it away, but it pops over the glass out of play. Louisville will put it in play from the right side. You talking about Amlong? Yes, you saw that too. Mm -hmm. yeah, we, that we got a bad habit of kind of over-forcing on one side, and the weak side beats us. 4.44 to play in the first quarter. No score. Namaski and Lakaweki have proven uh, impenetrable so far. Well, they both made some nice saves early in the game. They right? both they... had some help from their defense, especially yeah. the one play by Tomo when Billy had come out to make the initial play. Yeah, that was uh, a nice play by Tomo. Helen Camp to put the ball in play for the Thunder from the right side of the floor. Chris Helen Camp dishes outside for Savick and is knocked away by Rudy and cleared out to midfield. Lakaweki waits for it at the red line. Kramer to apply pressure, but he pushes it over to Moise Surrey. Surrey right side dumps it in. Helen Camp in the corner, but nobody home. And Paxos dumps it in the goal box for Bill Namofsky. Mike Paxos probably has matured more, I think, than any other player on the Invaders roster this year well, at a Mike, new position. Mike's played well. I, you, you gain experience by playing, and he's got the playing time this year with all the injuries. Magic and, uh, Celestin pushes it ahead for Pikasinski. Rudy looks to center, and he's fouled, but now the holding call went against Rudy. Third foul on the Invaders. Yeah, Rudy had his hand on him. It was a, unfortunately, it was a good call. Timmy Tima agrees with the referees. Mark that down at 414 of the first period. I think it's time for us to start to draw the fifth foul now here and uh, get him in a in a bench penalty situation. Here is uh, Lakaweki. They clear ahead. Gabera heels it back to Zor and Savick in the right point. Savick tries to get around Paxos, but Celestin came over to help and steered the ball away. 
And now Mike Paxos, right side at midfield for Pikasinski. Rudy trying to get inside back to Yari. He does up the right side of the floor. He's got Kramer. He shoots through the box, and Artie couldn't quite get to it. That was a nice play. Artie was just a little too far ahead of Artie. Jim Gabera coming out with it for the Thunder. 342 <coughs> in the period. Bad pass taken away by Rudy at midfield. And now Magic. Magic moves away almost like he had eyes in the back of his head and knew Zoran Savic was back there. Well, we call him the Magic Man for that reason. He's smooth. Ahead, Kramer and lost the ball. I think both Magic and Artie thought the other one was going to come away with it and it ended up at the feet of back the yard. Now uh, Savic ahead and a sliding play by Dawkins to knock it away from Jimmy Gabera. So the two coaches exchange uh, some fun down there. Helen Camp, or rather uh, Bakhtiari with a shot blocked by Kramer. They clear it around the boards and it bounces in the goal box where Bill Namofsky holds on. Pumps once and then rolls the outlet short on the left side to Celestin. Coming up on the three minute mark now, we have three minutes to go in the first period. Celestin ahead to Kramer. Kramer with Bakhtiari down in the corner. Artie trying to get around him, but Bakhtiari got a hold of the ball and clears it out. But Gabera had trouble there with it. Double teamed and gets it around Paxos, but Kondrich will chase that down at the Invader red line. Nobody back deep for Louisville. Left side at midfield, Donnie Tobin. 2.42 to go in the period. Tobin ahead. Red line left side for Kramer, and he had it taken away by Bakhtiari. Now Helen Camp at midfield. Helen Camp right edge of the circle. Now on the left side, it comes to Zoran Savic. Savic working on Pisano. He winds, he fires wide, just wide to the left. Savic tried to steal, didn't get it, and Pisano clears to Tobin, and here we come on the counter. Tobin tried to dump it in for Kia. It was blocked by Mahalik. He's pushed right. down by Savic, and that's the fifth foul on Louisville. Outside quickly to Pisano. In the corner for Tobin. Tobin wants the feed, but he's cut off and now double teamed in there. Ball deflected by Fall and taken by Savic. Savic, ball picked clean by Maurer. Three on one. Maurer looking for the feed to Kia. He hit the post on the right side. And here comes uh, Cato on the outlet to Savic. 156 in the period. Across the red line. Down in the corner. Wall pass. No, loose out front. Rebound the follow blocked by Pisano. Sliding play as he robbed Mike Ball. Oh, and here comes Kia on the break with Tobin two on one. The other way, Kia looks for the feed. Toby shoots in, he hit the post on the other side. Oh my heavens. 136 to go in the period. Here's Maurer. Maurer right side to Tobin. Tobin wants Kia. He offs off the wall. Kia's shot blocked by Lakowecki. Oh, and Shadow knocks it in the stands. That should be that two should minutes. Be two. That should be delay of game, but they don't call it. Oh, how about the opportunities the Invaders have had in the last minute and a half. Goalkeeper's best friend, the pole, saved uh, A.J. there twice. Oh, each pole, the, now, now the only one he owes one to is the crossbar. <laughs> minute 27 to go in the period. Let's see if the Invaders can get that sixth foul. Tobin will put it in play from the right side. You can't get any closer than that, Bobby, oh, right there. Both of those. And Lakowecki was beaten cleanly on both of them. Uh, there was a good tight defense by the forwards. They stole the ball at midfield and forced the two-on-one and the three-on-ones. Uh, that's the forwards, our key defensive maneuver, too. Tobin airborne for Maurer. Maurer in the corner. Back up for Toby, but it's knocked away by Fall. Toby gets it up in the air for Kondrich at midfield, but it's knocked away by Orhan. Orhan up the right side of the floor. He shoots no, and he just missed Amlong on the far post. Amlong almost ended up in the stage. And the Invaders come out with a minute nine to play in the period and no score, but we've had some opportunities. Long lead for Kia. Kia trying to get inside of Surrey. Knocked away. Orhan clears, but he can't get it around Kondrich. Tomo feeds uh, Don Tobin at midfield. And back at the right edge of the circle to Pisano. There you go. He wants Kia down in the corner. Kia trying to get inside Surrey. And Kia did a bit of an acting job there and didn't get the call. Maurer got the ball back, though. Maurer stops, wants the feed out front. Kondrich winds, fires, and punched out of play by... Now it stays in play. Tobin with a header. And Maurer couldn't control it and hit Maurer in the hand, and that'll be the fourth foul on the Invaders. 35 seconds in the period. Orhan ahead, pass is intercepted by Pisano. Pisano with a move around Orhan and dumps it over on the right side to Kramer. 25 seconds, Kramer with a wall feed. It was too far in front of Pisano. Lakowecki, long lead, headed away by Pikasinski. Now Tobin. Tobin winds, fires. It's blocked out front by Surrey. 15 seconds in the quarter. Kramer looks out front. He fires. It's blocked. 10 seconds in the quarter. Artie's got it back again. He's got Rudy. Rudy through the box, knocked away. And five seconds in the quarter. It looks like Louisville's going to get away without the sixth foul, and they do. That's the end of the first quarter. With a score, the Canton Invaders nothing. The Louisville Thunder nothing. We'll be back. Good fire it. Namoski will be in the goal to our left in this period. Lakowecki in the goal to our right. 
both keepers have played well and when they have needed help in the period they've gotten it and I think that's the biggest reason that the score zip zip uh, it's it's been defensive teamwork I think on the part of both sides and a little bit of luck for Louisville I think like I said the first two games we played here it was uh, 12 goals in the first half I think both teams decided let's play a little tight defense and uh, take our chances late in the game so Leston dumps it ahead as the invaders control the kickoff they try to get it into Rudy but it was knocked away by Surrey and Lakowiecki has it in the penalty area he puts it on the floor taps it taps it ahead to Helen camp and Surrey has it right side at midfield now Zoran Savick bad pass taken away and there's a trip oh that should be two and they that don't should be two. Uh, that might have been a delayed call here is Matt that there's another trip that should be a shootout in a two minute it sure should be he clearly had a shot on goal. And the now guy they're just going to give him the incidental foul. Rudy was taken down. He had a break. Yeah, it's early in the game. They should be able to take something. Right side. Dawkins feeds out front. Paxos fires wide. Rebound comes out well, behind well. Pikasinski. Bakhtiari clears. Savic cherry picking. He's got a break up the left side. He shoots into Mosky with a save. And Paxos taps it back in the goal box for Billy. Long lead for Kramer. Kramer working on Surrey. And taps it back uh, outside the invader red line to Magic Celestin. Celestin midfield circle ahead for Pikasinski. Rudy against uh, both Cabrera and Bakhtiari. Rudy with a spin move, and there he goes down again, and coming the other way is Helen Camp. Helen Camp up the right side of the floor for Cabrera. Cabrera winds, fires wide, the rebound behind Helen Camp. And Kramer coming the other way for the Invaders. Kramer, they may have lost track of Rudy down there, and Artie at the red line to Magic, and they'll back it away. Magic moves in, left side, he fires, blocked out front. I'm not sure who got that. It was Lakawaki or Bakhtiari. Bakhtiari. That's uh, Saeed's one of his strong points. He's a good block shotter. Being shot blocker? Here's well, Pekasinski. <laughs> I shot blocker, whatever. <laughs> when you get hit by him so many times, Bobby. You... I know what you mean. Here's Kramer. Kramer threw a double team, but he left without the ball as Savick ends up with it for Louisville. 13-22 to play in the first half. We're still scoreless. Contest quarter, our third period tonight for United Bank. Helen Camp. Working on Celestin, right side at midfield to Amlong. Dawkins tried to slide, but Amlong had already cleared it back. Lakowiecki's out of the net. Clears it back up to Amlong. Amlong pushes it forward, and Mike Paul has it on the left side. Kondrich awaits him at the Canton red line. Paul moves to the middle of the floor to Orhan, and now back to Cato. Cato lets it go. Namovsky with a save, and the rebound controlled by Tobin ahead to Rudy. The ball knocked away for a second by Mahalik. Rudy got it anyway, and his pass was behind Kramer. Cato and Pekasinski collide, and it's a play on, and here is Cato at midfield, left side. Well, I think Rudy got a free shot there. I think so, too. Here is Orhan. Orhan shot blocked by Pekasinski, and you got a foul on Orhan for the push, and that's the second one on Louisville. See, this is the inconsistency in the referee, and Bobby, that was a nothing call there. And uh, Rudy and Cato went at it uh, with the elbows and shoulders, and nothing was called and they call a little tap in like that. Pisano ahead for Kia. Kia trying to get inside. Cato does up the left side of the floor. Feeds to Maurer. Maurer had to wait in the ball a little and then had to clear it back to Tobin. Tobin with a move around his man. Looks inside. The ball knocked away by Mahalik. Centers again. And Lakowiecki didn't control it the first time, but Mahalik knocked it back to him and he got it the second time. Coming up the left side is Fall. Up for the right side feed is Mahalik. And he's got a problem there with Maurer and has to back away. And Kia almost took that one away, too. They back it up to Lakowiecki. Now Mahalik, Maurer with him. And Cato in the midfield circle. And back outside the goal box to A.J. Lakowiecki. He leaves it up front for Janusz Mahalik. 11.48 to play in the first half. No score. Gary Amlong left side in the invader defensive zone on Pisano. And Gary almost forgot the ball, but got a pretty good shot off. And Namoski airborne to make the save. Kia taps it back, back in the box, and now Billy rolls the outlet short on the left side to Tom Kondrich. Now Pisano out in front of the arc, 11 and a half minutes in the period. No score between the Invaders and the Louisville Thunder. Oscar Pisano, long lead. Nobody marking Kondrich up the left side. He shoots. No, Lakowiecki couldn't get the rebound. Knocked out by Mahalik and taken back by uh, Kondrich. Midfield circle, it goes to Oscar Pisano. Pisano back to the Invader red line with it. And Oscar sends it ahead for Steve Maurer. Maurer working against Mahalik, trying to get inside on the boards, does in the corner. Gabera, the double team, slapped the ball away for a second, but Maurer, with good strength in there, gets it outside to Pisano. Pisano inside, and he feeds it around, and it's intercepted by Lakowiecki. Long lead coming up for Orhan. Orhan on the run with Kondrich. They take it down in the corner. Orhan and Kondrich stepped inside and punched the ball in the box for Namoski. 
Long lead for Kia. Kia working on Cato, and he dumps it back uh, left side of midfield to Tobin, and now Pisano left edge of the circle. Oscar picked up by Savick at the Louisville red line. 10.32 to go in the half, no score. Kia posted up out front on Cato. Feed shot by Pikasinski in a save. Going down low is A.J. Lakowiecki. Left side, the outlet comes to Cato. Cato with Pikasinski. The pass is deflected by Kondrich. And ahead it comes to Donnie Tobin. Tobin pushes it up the left side for Kramer. Kramer in the corner with Bakhtiari. Artie spins back outside of the point. It comes to Tobin. And Tobin to Trevor Dawkins in the midfield circle. Dawkins left side to Kramer. And Kramer working on Saeed again. Moves between him. Saeed got a piece of the ball, but Artie got it back. Magic Celestin now trying to get inside of Helen Camp on the left side. And the Magic Man dribbles up along the touchline. Takes it, spins back outside, middle of the floor to Kramer. 9.49 in the period. Kramer moves in, ball deflected by Bakhtiari and taken by Gabera. And they dump it back for Chris Hellenkamp, and he'll come out with it. Right side midfield for Zoran Savic. Mike Paxos on defense for the Invaders. Savic, right side, and Magic Celestin picked the ball away from behind. Namoski controls outlet left side to Celestin. Celestin with Hellenkamp. Inside, he uses a little speed to get around him. The shot was deflected in the corner. Bakhtiari's got it there, and he dumps it in the goal box for Lakowiecki. 9.19 to go in the first half. Still no score at the Civic Center. Jim Gabera, ball deflected by Dawkins. Pikasinski fights with Helen Camp along the boards. And who's going to come away with that? There's still Kwan and Hackett in there. And now Surrey in to help out. And we've got a foul, and this one goes against Helen Camp. And they quickly put it outside for Dawkins. Dawkins winds, fires, blocked by Bakhtiari. Magic with a rebound yeah! and hit oh! the post. The inside of the post, no less. Three team fouls on Louisville. Savick double teamed at midfield. Celestin comes away with the ball. And Magic is ridden down by Savick. And that's got to be the fourth foul on Louisville. And it is. Oh, I thought that one was in. Bobby. That was even closer than the two in the first period. That's as close as you can get. I tell you, he hit a cannon. I even thought that come off the back support. But yep. the way it bounced out, it definitely came off the side sidebar. Paxos, middle of the floor to Celestin. Celestin working against Helen Camp. Magic backs it up. I had to pick Kaczynski, sweeps it on the left side for Kramer. And Kramer had the ball knocked away by Saeed Bakhtiari, and he controls for Louisville. Gabera dumps it in the goal box for Lakowiecki, and he'll come out with it. Ball on the floor. 8.28 to play in the first half. Lakowiecki, horrible pass, intercepted by Celestin. I don't know what he was doing with that one. I think he just wanted to get rid of that ball. Celestin, and his shot blocked by Fall. Condridge gets it back. Now Magic, Magic in the left point area. And he's got Pisano clearing. Pisano got inside Amlong. Amlong deflects from behind. Oscar taken down on the trip. No call. And coming the other way is Saeed Bakhtiari as they attack four on two. Bakhtiari. Orhan shot wide. And they try to get it out front. And Fall has no room to work because of Tobin on D. Now Bakhtiari. His shot rejected by Kondrich. Orhan clears it back to midfield to Surrey. And back at the other end is A.J. Lakowiecki at the red line. Lakowiecki dumps it ahead. That should be three lines. They don't call it, but Kondrich has the ball anyway to Kia. He hits it just over Lakowiecki and over the glass and out of play. Lakowiecki was out further than he should have been, and Kia almost burned it. Uh, that was a three-line pass. I think A.J. thought it was three lines, too, and he was just backing up. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, another unfortunate break for us, Bobby. Off the bar. 7.41 left in the first half, and we've got another TV timeout. There again, we had the momentum going on, oh. and we've got to slow it up again. Louisville's bench has probably breathed more sighs of relief in this game than you can count. No score yet, and uh, the Invaders have had the opportunities and just have been a hair off in putting them away, and I mean a very, very fraction of uh, timing. You know, I think that was our problem here in the last couple uh, games. We've been unable to finish, but I don't think that is poor finishing there. We're hitting the shots nice, and they're just not going in. It hit the bar three times. Uh, and we're playing good defense, and the forwards are playing good defense. No fouls on the Invaders, four fouls on Louisville, and an awful lot of time left in the period. Louisville was in a similar situation last quarter with four fouls, and was able to get out of it without committing the sixth one. Uh, I think we have to try to draw a fifth foul here pretty soon. Let's play a couple minutes. Just Art not Kramer. And bring out Artie, the actor, and, uh, <laughs> and get that fifth foul. And then when he got five fouls, defenders play a little loose, and that gives our uh, forwards a little bit more room. And with Rudy and Key and then with them quick shots, I, mean, I like to look back in the stats to see how many goals we scored when the other team had five fouls. 7.42 to play here in the uh, first half and still no score at the Civic Center. The Invaders and the Louisville Thunder, Thunder Canton 21-7, Louisville 20-9 as we entered play tonight. 
And the two division leaders, the Invaders atop the North and the Thunder on top in the South. And this is a pressure pack game here. The loser of this game has some pressure from Tampa if Louisville loses, and if we lose, Chicago's right on our tail. Lakowiecki, the outlet comes to Mahalik. Mahalik across the Invader red line. Wall feed comes out behind, a follow by back the, by uh, Orhan is blocked by Pisano. Oscar had to hustle to get back in okay. position for that. Nice block shot. Orhan congratulates him on the block. Orhan couldn't believe he got there in time. It'll be a corner kick for Louisville. Mike Fall to put the ball in play from the right side. I'm pretty sure Yomas uh, played uh, with uh, Oscar and uh, Buffalo. I think he did. Uh, Probably right. played with Artie, too. Yeah, he? and Rudy. Yeah. I think uh, I think Yomas is going to hurt him today because you saw Tomo wide open on that one play. He was supposed to mark Tomo. He's a little of a lazy player. They center, and a shot by Amlong is blocked by Condrich. Cato chases it down, but it bounces out of play. And Louisville will put it in play. Touchline left side. With 7.25 now showing on the clock in the second quarter. Still no score at the Civic Center. Tomorrow night we're in Toledo against the Toledo Pride. Saturday, uh, the All-Star game in Louisville. Mahalik, wall pass that is intercepted by uh, Namofsky. And his lead comes to Kia at midfield. Kia working on Cato. Orhan is there to help out. Kia got between the two but lost the ball. And Amlong sweeps it over on the right side. Orhan comes back in the invader defensive zone for Louisville. Ahead for Amlong, posted up, now turns, faces the net. Kondrich knocks it away. Mahalik has it out on the left point, and they clear to midfield to Mike Fall. Mike Fall to Paul Cato. Cato in for Amlong, and it's back out to Cato at midfield. And now down on the left side for Fall, but Tobin knocked it away. However, it goes over the glass. And again, it'll be a kick in for Louisville. Now 6.53 to go in the first half, and we are still scoreless. I, I think when uh, the other line comes out, they'll start trying to draw that fifth foul. That's the, this line should play just a little bit longer. Their big scoring line is back out on the floor. Louisville's is Savick, Cabrera, and Helen Camp. I think the other line for Louisville had more opportunities than uh, this line. I think we're doing a good job shutting down the main line tonight. They're three leading scorers on this line, and they really haven't done that much yet. But uh, they you always wonder when they might explode. Bakhtiari centering ball. Kia knocked it away from Helen Camp. Maurer couldn't get it away from Bakhtiari, though. His wall feed is swept out by Pisano. Savick dumps it in the corner. Maurer clears it off the boards for Kia. And Kia back to Steve Maurer, and he comes out with it. Maurer across the red line, and now the line change comes in. Magic Celestin with it, left side at midfield. Six and a half minutes to go in the first half. Magic dumps it ahead for Kia. Kia buying some time, now turns, faces the net. Move around back to Yari. He shoots, it's deflected by Gabera and sails out of play. And they should complete the line change now in the stoppage and play with 6.21 to go in the half. And again, still no score. We're in the second quarter. Trevor Dawkins with Mike Paxos on defense. Magic Celestin, Rudy Pikasinski, and Art Kramer up front for Canton. On the floor for Louisville, Jim Gabera, Chris Hellenkamp, Zoran Savick, Saeed Bakhtiari, and Moise Suri. Paxos, right point area. And he dumps it down on the left side for Kramer. Kramer back to the net, takes it away from Bakhtiari and out to midfield, left side to Trevor Dawkins. Dawkins playing in his third game of the year the invader pay player coach and Paxos dumps it in but Surrey comes out of the zone with it and here comes Louisville on the attack three on three Surrey through the middle of the floor he got under that and knocked it up in the crowd I think uh, and that'll be a goal kick for uh, Canton I think we're a little fortunate there I thought Trevor blocked that shot that's what Trevor does so well you, you don't see him there and all of a sudden he steps in your way and uh, he blocks a shot and he's kind of hurting there a little bit yeah, he is. Trevor hobbling just a little bit. 5.59 to go in the half. Now's the time to start drawing that fifth now. Here. Celestin left side at midfield against Helen Camp. Helen Camp knocked the ball away, but Dawkins controls. Ahead for Magic. Magic around a pick by Rudy down in the corner. Ball knocked away by Helen Camp. And Savick has it. And ahead to Chris Helen Camp. Rudy back on defense for Canton. Helen Camp pushes it ahead. Savick up the floor with Paxos in the left corner. Invader defensive zone. Kramer to double team. Ball deflected. Dawkins sliding play to knock it away from Gabera. And then uh, Paxos able to clear to Namoski. Lead ball for Magic. Magic right side at midfield. 5.21 left to go in the first half. Magic under the watchful eye of Saeed Bakhtiari takes it down in the zone. Bakhtiari took it away. And here comes Louisville. Two on one. And now make it three on two. But Paxos with a nifty play to knock it away. And Kramer has it at midfield, trying to get inside Surrey. That should be the fifth foul, and it is. And you may have had 
Bench penalty. Bench yeah. penalty, I think. Yeah. That's a warning, I think. Yeah. That's just a bench warning. When he does the cross uh, wrists with a fist clench, it's a warning. Uh, the two minutes are when the blue card comes out. Yeah, I think one of the Louisville players said something there. Oh, I could hear it all the way up uh, here. I won't, I won't repeat it. No, I've, I won't either. I've said it a few times myself. <laughs> 5.05 to go. I think we got a little break there. I think that was a cheap call. They were both bailing on the boards there. Like Kramer moving inside. Around one, around two. Shoots just wide. Rebound. Rudy couldn't get a hold of it. And Hillenkamp tries to clear it. It was blocked out of play by Kramer. Louisville will put it in play. Touchline right side in their own end. Right 4.56 there. left. And now, now the five fouls are up there. Well, right there you saw the fifth foul. Artie was taken along the boards. Louisville players didn't want to foul him. And what he do? He cut it towards goal. And they let him go right by him because they don't want to give up the sixth foul. And unfortunately, the shot went wide, and Rudy just, just missed the rebound. When we keep playing like this, Bobby, this game should be over. This should be ours. We're playing well, We should tonight. have about four on the board right now, but we don't have any. Uh, that's, that's what worries me. The gutsy performance by the troops tonight. I mean, yeah. we're, we're down limping and hollering, and a couple guys out, injuries, some suspensions, and it just unites this team if we can pull this one out. No score, 4.56 to go in the first half. Invaders need to get a goal, I think, though. They've got to get something on the board for all the good work that they've been doing. I think we get the 6-5. The power play unit has really been struggling. They're like either 0 for 12, and they're a 40% unit, so. Lackawecki, long lead. Dawkins deflects in the corner. Pikasinski clears it away. Ball deflected from behind, but Kramer trying to get through a crowd. Can't do it. Amlong able to clear back to Lackawecki. Ahead, Mahalik, and he heads it to nobody in particular at midfield, and Celestin says, that's fine, thank you. Lead ball, it's too far for Rudy, but Paxos controls. Paxos taking fall down in the corner on the right side, and now Mike spins, centers for Kramer, who got inside Cato. He is taken down, and he slipped, however. No foul there. Uh, that was, he slipped in a turn. He just slipped. There was no foul committed. That was a good no call by the referee. He beat Cato. He beat Cato dead to rights there. He beat him so good, he yeah. faked himself out, I think. Dawkins clears in the goal box for Namofsky, and they resume the attack. Long lead for Rudy. Rudy's got Cato to beat. He had to wait on the pass a little. Now Rudy with Kramer. Up the right side for Artie. Artie down in the corner. Wall pass for Rudy off his chest and cleared out, and it'll be taken by Orhan at midfield. Left side for Louisville. 346 to go in the first half. No score. Amlong left side. Wall feed. Knocked away. Tobin controls, and Namoski pounces on the loose ball. Let's get it to Artie now. Now he's going off now. And they clear ahead to Tom Condrich. 334 in the half. Condrich. Up the right side in the thunder end. No, wall feed behind Kia. Kia got it back. Lakowiecki pounced on the loose ball. Kia was hammered by Cato up front. No call. Uh, was, it took a little time. I think he was tripped, but he went a little bit, trying to uh, draw too much there. A little too much acting. Well, that's one that in the box they're probably not yeah. going to call it anyway. We've got to commit murder in the box for these referees to call anything. Orhan, right side at midfield on Tobin. 3.06 in the period. Orhan ahead, Amlong open, and he dumped it out of play. He had gotten behind Tomo, and then he just got under it and hit it out. Very little fortunate there. That's really one of the first defensive breakdowns that I've seen. I think frustration's starting to set in. I mean, we're just, we're pounding away at Louisville here. And They're dominating the game, really, but they have nothing to show for it right now. No score, 3.04 to play in the first half. The Invaders in Louisville. Yeah, we, we need this sixth foul. It's a key because, uh, like you said, last quarter they were in the same situation at five fouls with a lot of time left. Louisville, an excellent penalty killing unit, 80%. Here is Pisano, left side at midfield. Oscar working on Gabera. Ahead for Maurer. Maurer trying to get inside Bakhtiari. Saeed with a steal. Ahead for Savic. Savic, and he lost the ball to Tom Condrich. Condrich coming back the other way for Canton. Right side off the boards for Maurer. Maurer taps it out on the right point for Don Tobin. Toby directing some traffic. 235. And right point to Condrich. Condrich fronted by Gabera. Now Pisano. Oscar back to the net at the red line. And now Oscar will back up a little. Faces the net. Right side feed to Maurer. Back to Oscar. Got inside Gabera. He shoots. No. Kia scores. All right. Great play. Kia scores. Pisano the assist. The Invaders lead one to nothing. Oh, that was a great play by Oscar. He made a nice one-two with Steve Maurer. Uh, he played the ball off the, off the boards to Kia, and Kia just followed it up. That's Kia there on the spot again. Time of the goal is 12.40 of the second period. The Invaders finally break on top. Kia, his 20th goal of the year. Pisano, his 22nd assist. And the Invaders lead 1-0. Kia just kind of 
could have carried that in almost. He was right in front of the line. The original shot he took, it kind of stuck on his foot, and uh, he took it the rest of the way. That was a nice goal there. Now we, now we start the ball rolling here. Invaders lead 1-0, 2.20 to go in the first half. Now if they could draw that 6 foul That'd yet, that would really be sweet. Now we're talking a lot about the six foul and that five fouls. It's a, it's a key in the game. The defenders don't play as tight when there's five fouls. Especially when these two teams play. Right. The referees have got quick whistles sometimes in these tight games. Lackawacky long lead for Gabera, and he threw knocked it out of play. So 2.06 to go in the half, and the Invaders will take it back in their own end. It was uh, too far over the head of Gabera and over the glass and out. 1-0 Canton on the Kia goal and the Pisano assist at 12.40 of the second quarter. Don Tobin with the ball for the Invaders. Long lead for Kia, who just scored the goal, working on Moise Suri. Dumps it back at the Canton red line to Pisano. Pisano pushes it forward for Donnie Tobin. Tobin tries to center for Maurer, does. Maurer moving to his left, stops. Bakhtiari with him. Maurer trying to knock it through him, and that wasn't a good move, I don't think, as Gabera comes the other way. Maurer gets back, picked him away, but they call a foul on Steve Maurer. First foul on the Invaders in the period, minute 41 to go. Moise Suri with the ball at front edge of the midfield circle. Into the red line, dumps it in the corner, it's knocked away. Helen Camp knocked it back, but uh, Pisano clears for Tobin. Tobin sends it down the other way. Lakaweki waits there for it, and he sweeps it out to Saeed Bakhtiari. Bakhtiari trying to move around, Tobin does. Helen Camp heads it over on the right side for Suri. Suri has to wait on that off the boards, and Maurer deflects and knocks it away. Suri took a dive, didn't get the call. Here comes Kia. Kia up the left side, minute 12 in the period. Kia with a move around one, and he leaves it for Tobin. Oh, you got to be kidding. Oh. They call a trip on Kia. That is a terrible oh, call. Boy, that was bad. That was one of the worst we've seen. I think Yomas fell on his own there. He did. One minute left in the period. Helen Camp dumps it on the left side, back to Yari. Ball knocked away, and Kia controls for Canton, but uh, Orhan gets it back. 52 seconds. Orhan shot blocked by Pikazinski. Orhan got it back again. Tobin took it away from him. Tobin in a run. Mahalik with a shot. Scores! Mahalik with a shot from a couple of feet inside the red line, and Louisville ties it 1-1. I think it all boils down to that call back here in the zone. The, the players kind of were giving the referee a little uh, lip, and uh, it broke down there. 14-15, the time of the goal for Mahalik, his fourth of the season. And we'll wait on the assist on that if they give one. That should be unassisted. I would I think, think so. I think one of the invaders just cleared it out. And I would think that would be unassisted because I think Toby tried to clear and Mahalik just rifled it. Didn't even control. The ball came up and he just let it fly with the left foot. Uh, they gave a gimme assist there. That was a gift. They gave it to um, Orhan. Here come the invaders. There's and there's the sixth, the sixth foul as Kramer, right, Kramer draws it. With 37 seconds left in the period. So we're in a tie game, 1-1. The Invaders will go on the power play. 41% success rate this year, 37 of 91. Louisville has given up just 17 goals in 84 attempts for 80%. And that is the top stat in the league as far as penalty yeah, killing they goes. A, they have a good power uh, man down. But I think to their advantage is they play in that big field in Louisville. And it's... Uh, they can cover a lot of room with four guys down in Louisville. There's so many angles you can cut off on a bigger field. So I think it's a little missed to see, uh, a little deceiving there. Time of the penalty is 14:24. Louisville called for six fouls. That's the first penalty of the game. So the Invaders go on the power play for the first time tonight. I think we should have one, one nice attack here and go into halftime. Uh, Louisville will start the second half with the ball, so we'll lose possession. If they don't score here, they would have a minute 24 of power play at the start of the third quarter with Louisville in possession of the ball. Yeah, you figure Louisville will hold the ball for at least 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. So they still have a minute to work yeah. with if they don't score, but they got time here. 33 seconds, Pisano at the red line to pick Kaczynski. Now Kia on the right side. Oscar middle of the floor, 28 seconds in the half. Now Tobin, now Pisano. Pisano, a couple of steps in. Kia lets it clear. Cato knocked it back. Right side off the foot of Pisano to Kia, 18 seconds in the half. Pisano. Looks inside. Leshkarelli on the power play unit tonight. And it's knocked back outside Tobin. Nine seconds and a half. Tobin to Pisano. Seven seconds. Back to Toby. In the corner for Scarelli to Rudy. To Kia. He shoots no. And the rebound knocked away. And the half ends. 
That was a nice play there. We set that up real nice. And Kia hit a nice shot. It's just, just, just wide. All tied up, 1-1 at halftime. We'll be back in just a moment. Sweetheart, though. She really is. She's up here uh, with us helping with some of the stats. And uh, hi, Jen. I appreciate the Coke, and Timmy just spilled the beans on the air. <laughs> now, where's my Coke at? <laughs> yeah, now Tim wants his coat. Oh, that's just as good. <laughs> okay, we're underway in the third quarter. Louisville man down team, back the Ari, backs it up in the goal box for A.J. Lakowiecki, and his lead ball for fall is intercepted by Oscar Pisano. The Invaders will go to work with a minute 12 left in the penalty. Don Tobin, left side at midfield for Les Schirelli. Schirelli back to Toby, edge of the midfield circle. And now we've got Schirelli in the left point inside the red line. Back to Tobin, right side of the point, it comes to Oscar Pisano. Pisano looking inside on fall, and now moves that way toward Kia and backs up again. Now it's Rudy posted up out front. Cato knocked it away. Pisano got it back, but his feed was blocked by Gabera. Cleared out, but Tobin keeps it close at midfield. 40 seconds left in the penalty. Pisano looks inside. He got through to Rudy. Oh, he missed it wide, followed by Lesh and the save by Lakowiecki. AJ, just long lead, and Louisville won't chase that. They just Rudy, want to burn some time. Rudy was practically on his back there. I'm surprised mm. he even got a shot off, and he just he missed did well away. just to touch that ball. Here is Tobin through the midfield circle with 18 seconds in the penalty. Right side feed to Pisano. They've well, loosened up on Kia a little bit over there, haven't they? Well, one more last guess here. They'll set up a slow play here. Left side to Schirelli. Nine seconds in the penalty. Now Tobin. Toby looks inside on Gabera. Four seconds in the penalty. Kia in there the corner. Nobody marking there out. She scores. Nobody was paying attention to Les Schirelli. Kia found him on the back door, and the Invaders lead 2-1. to one. That's his 100th career goal. All right, Les. they got to give him the ball. Les Schirelli puts the Invaders up 2-1. to one. That's what we do. About 20 seconds left in our power play. We kind of low at the sleep. You mentioned Kia was One second the left when they okay. scored. That's using the whole time. You mentioned Kia was opening the corner. He kind of snuck over there, and uh, two minutes had gone by, and the uh, players forget about Kia, and he knocked a nice ball over to Lesh. 1.23 of the period, and nobody was even close to Lesh Gorelli. And they give him the ball, and he gets a well-deserved round of applause. He is only the third player in AISA history, and he kicks it up to the crowd. He is only the third player in AISA history to reach 100 goals. The first one was Kia who has 121 with a goal tonight. The second one was uh, Gabera of Louisville, who did it on Sunday, who now has 100. And the third one is Les Corelli. You got three top scorers out there in the field in the league history. And I think Les Corelli did that uh, when he scored his 100 point the first year. He took the ball and kicked it in the stand. So he's uh, well-deserved. That is a play that they have run so well with Walt Schlotthauer, and they did it with Maurer a couple of times, too. Won a game in Fort Wayne on that same play, but that's what we do with 20 seconds or so left. We, we lull the defense to sleep, and we use one, two touch around the corner, and uh, Les, all he had to do was get in the way of the ball. Invaders lead 2-1, to one, and we just made a winner out of our contestant, Charles DeVille of North Canton. You got the tickets. You got the Red Bull Inn dinner certificates. You got the coffee mug from United Bank. Congratulations. Long ball into the invader and caught on the fly by Namoski. Billy wanted the long outlet. It wasn't there, and he dumps it over on the right side to Oscar Pisano. 13-12 to go in the third quarter. Invaders lead 2-1. Pisano moves between a couple of defenders, stops inside the red line, wants Kia. Kia in a race with Cato inside. Cato won that and got it out to Fall, who clears it back in the box for Lakawaki. AJ outlet midfield on the right side. It's Mahalik. He's got the Louisville goal. Comes up the right side. Stops at the red line. Backs it up. Now middle of the floor it comes. Mike Fall. His shot hit the post. Rebound deflected. And uh, Orhan's shot was blocked by Kondrich. Right point with it is Cato. Inside Amlong. Amlong will not get in the corner fast enough. As Maurer with a deflection. And Pisano tries to clear for the invaders. And he will come out with it. Pisano with a move around one, around two. That may set up a good attack. Oscar trying to get away from Orhan. And the ball dumped ahead, and Kia dumps it back, but it's taken by Fall at midfield. Now Cato at the Louisville red line. 12.20 to go in the third quarter. Ball Cato up to the invader red line. He lets it go wide. Rebound comes right out to Don Tobin. 
Don with a shifty move to get around Cato. The pass knocked away, but Maurer sends it over to Kia. And the Invaders resume the attack three on three. Kia's pass knocked into the corner by Fall. And Fall, bad pass off the boards taken by Kia to Tobin. Tobin working on Kato to Maurer. He shoots Kia. Good rebound. Kia hit it wide to the left. He had the open net. Lackawaki on the floor, and he couldn't find it. Oh, my. I tell you, Kia, an inch left, inch right. He's got four goals tonight. Yeah, he could have four real easy right now. And uh, Gabera can't control it midfield, and Condridge dumps it down in the Invader end. Now Magic Celestin out front. Celestin with 11.32 to go in the period ahead for Kramer. Artie didn't see the pass coming. It hit him in the back of the heel, and he can't get out of the double team by Bakhtiaria and Gabera, and they dump it over to Moise Suri. Surrey, right side, Gabera. Gabera coming in on Trevor Dawkins up the right side of the floor, middle of the floor. Rudy deflects from behind. It squirts in the goal box, and Namoski controls there for Canton. Billy out, led on the right side to Mike Paxos. Now middle of the floor at the Canton red line to Celestin. The Thunder backing up on D. Celestin with Helen Camp at the midfield circle. Left side, Dawkins. I had to pick Kaczynski. Back to Kramer, and now Trevor. You see Artie's right knee all taped up there. Mm -hmm. Probably the ice I saw on it. Pass intercepted by uh, Savick, taken by Helen Camp. Helen Camp midfield, right side to Gabera, and they back it up to uh, Saeed Bakhtiari through the midfield circle. Picked up by Pikazinski. Left side to Savick. Savick with a move in on Paxos. He shoots, kick save, and a dandy by Namoski. Nice save, Billy. And coming out, uh, Rudy taps the ball back to Mike Paxos. Now, this time they'll keep it up a little closer to the red line. Kramer and Dawkins play catch for a second. Now Trevor out across on the right side to Mike Paxos. And back to Dawkins. Dawkins looks up the floor, thought about the pass, and instead dumps it back to Namoski. 10-14 to go in the third quarter. Invaders lead 2-1. Kia and Scarelli have scored for the Invaders. Mahalik has the Louisville goal. Long lead, Namoski in the left corner. Kia trying to get inside of Bakhtiari. Bakhtiari with a deflection way up in the air at midfield. And Gabera waits for it there. Magic would tried for the steal, but he got it back to Helen Camp. Savick had a ball deflected by Paxos in the corner. Dawkins there with it. He lets Savick clear by, and Trevor will come away and feed the outlet on the right side. Uh, 3.58 left in the second quarter. Chicago 2, Memphis 1. And the ball down in the Louisville end and in the goal box and controlled by A.J. Lakowiecki. Lakowiecki out of the arc. He's got the ball on the floor. Rudy waits for him at the red line. Lakowiecki out across it. Pass hit Gabera in the back of the head, and they come the other way, three on two. Paxos, he shoots. Lakowiecki with a save, knocked out in the corner. Surrey trying to get away from Rudy and does, and ahead to Savick, but Paxos had the momentum on the run and able to knock that ball away. I think Mike had already wide open. I think Mike just had too much steam going forward and couldn't uh, change his mind. There. He was really chugging to get to that ball. Nice defensive play. Magic to Rudy, give and go. Rudy got blasted from behind there outside. Kramer with his shot on the one hop. It's handled by Lakowiecki. I had Helen Camp at the red line through the midfield circle. Helen Camp across the invader red line. Celestin with him step for step. He backs up. Rarty to double team. Helen Camp looking for some help and has to retreat back to the red line. Oh, left side, left side. Here comes Surrey with a shot wide. Nobody home for the follow. Now Helen Camp fires it wide. And the third rebound by Bakhtiari is controlled fairly easily, I think, that time by Bill Namoski. Now you can see Trevor's experience. He got the ball from Billy. Billy was looking up Phil, and Trevor said, hey, give me the ball. Let's slow it down. Magic, right. Magic lost his shoe there, so let's, let's make a line change and uh, set up again. Steve Maurer back at the Canton red line. Everybody for Louisville is on their own side of midfield. Maurer ahead to Tobin. Tobin back to the net to Maurer. Maurer looking for Keo on the left side. Now finds Condridge out of the point. 8.14 to go in the period. Invaders lead 2-1. Maurer to Kia to Maurer on the give and go. He shoots. No, the rebound behind Kia. And it's cleared out by Fall. And uh, coming up the floor with it is Orhan. Orhan up the right side. Kondrich on the run. Orhan stops. Tomos clears by. Orhan moving right to left across the floor. Dumps it back. And a sliding play by Tobin. But Mahalik with a shot blocked by Pisano. And Maurer will dump that down in the thunder end. And Lakowiecki's out of the goal box to dump that ahead for Paul Cato. Cato, right edge of the midfield circle, pass deflected by Kia and taken by Maurer, taken back by Orhan, oh, sliding play by Pisano, he'll have some floor burns from that, and coming the other way is Maurer, it's three on three, Maurer to Kia, Kia right side, working away from Cato, Cato with a push, and that's the first foul of the half. I thought someone told me Oscar was hurt. Boy, you'd have never known it on that play. Boy, he'll have some burns from that, I think he slid about two and a half feet on the floor to get there. Oscar... 
Tries to get it to Maurer. Mahalik lost the ball inside. Maurer and couldn't control. Mahalik got back in position out to Lakaweki. 7-14 in the period. And Mahalik shovels the ball ahead for Mike Fall off the left side boards. Down in the corner it goes for Orhan. Orhan will come back out front with it for Louisville. Invaders lead 2-1. Now Orhan, wall pass, punched out by Namaski, And here come the invaders the other way. Pisano on the counterattack with Kia. Kia right side at the Thunder red line. Pisano clears. And Bakhtiari with a deflection, but they get it to Tobin on the left point. Airborne for Rudy through the box. And Lakaweki grabs it and holds on. Quick outlet comes ahead to Mike Fall. End-to-end -end action. A lot of running here now. Uh, we got to slow the game down. That's what we don't want to get into a running game with these guys. 6.39 to play in the third quarter. Invaders lead 2-1. Fall across the red line. Feeds in the left side for Orhan. Back to Fall. And Tobin couldn't get it, but Pisano does. Paxos does, rather. Right two here. Ahead to Tobin. Here we come. Toby to Rudy to an open. Kramer. Beautiful play. Tobin on the rebound. It's headed out. Great save by Lakaweki on the shot by Kramer. And Tobin... Tries to dump it in the corner for Rudy, but it gets around him and into the goal box for Lakawaki. A.J. is playing awfully well. Dawkins with a steal. Ahead to Pikasinski. Rudy around one to Kramer, and he missed him with a feed just a little. Back to Rudy, and he couldn't get him out front. Rudy ends up sitting down, and Fall comes the other way for Louisville. We got two. On, on the counterattack, Kramer hustling back to make it three on three. Now Gabera right side, fires wide, and Orhan couldn't get to the rebound. Fall goes all the way out on the point to get that, and now backs up away from Pikasinski to the midfield area. 5.40 to go in the third quarter. Canton two, Louisville one. You, know, you can't set up any better shots than oh. we're setting up tonight. You it? really you really can't. You just can't buy a goal. Savick ahead for Gabera. Gabera uh, is obstructed by Kramer. And that'll be the first foul on the Invaders. Team fouls even at one apiece. They'll put it in play from a fairly dangerous spot right outside the arc up front. And the shot blocked by Pikasinski. Helen Camp gets it back. And Paxos with a hand deflection ball. and a yes. handball on Savick. That's the second foul on Louisville. And there's a little, no discipline there on Louisville. Louisville has some great set plays. And uh, Zoran took a quick shot and uh, hit it right into Rudy, who was uh, in the wall. Magic Celeste, and I don't know what he was trying to do with that because he wasn't going to get it through there. He ain't going to stick a ball through somebody's leg. Here is Pikasinski. Likes the guy playing golf who thinks trees are 90% air, but you always end up hitting them. There's a shot by Celestin wide to the left. Kramer out there on the point to get it. That's a good one, Bob. Next Kramer I... shot, hit oh. the crossbar. Well, we've hit all three posts on that goal. And coming the other way is Helen Camp. That, uh, shot, that shot was the same spot where uh, Mihailovic scored his goal. Gabera goes down the push on Trevor. See Trevor. He's Trevor didn't like the call. <laughs> You better watch it because he put a fine, $25 fine on any descent two minutes from now on. <laughs> He'd have to find himself. It'd be the nice to see him and get the first fine. Team fouls are even at two <laughs> apiece. 4.51 to play in the period. Invaders lead 2-1. Gabera in the corner. Good play by Dawkins to knock it away. And Pikasinski has it. Middle of the floor at the red line ahead for Kramer. Kramer on the run. He's got Bakhtiari to beat. He got around him. He shoots. Bakhtiari got back just in time to block that shot. Now uh, Kondrich ahead to Artie. Kramer right side. He wants Rudy. Wall feed. Ball knocked away by Surrey. And Helen Camp tries to clear, but Paxos took it away. And Mike Paxos wisely backs it up to midfield to set things up again. Smart Here is Tom Condridge. Really was. Right side Kramer. Now the magic man, Celestin. Celestin. He fires. And Rudy with a deflection, but it goes out of play. That was a good play by Rudy. Uh, they try to set up a screen like they do in hockey and get a foot on it and change the direction uh, of the ball. And they just went over the top of the goal. I don't know what Louisville's complaining about. Oh, we got a corner kick out of that. That's what they're complaining about. Apparently it was blocked. And we got a timeout, I guess. Yeah. We'll take a break. 4-13 in the third quarter. Invaders 2, Louisville 1. It's left. Uh, not much fouling. The play is just consistent up and down the field. And uh, the quarter's going by fast. Corner. I, think, I think that's to our advantage here. Corner kick for the Invaders. And uh, Kondrich knocks it in and hits somebody in the back of the heel. Tomo gets it up in the air. Lakaweki goes high to haul that one down. And he fires the lead straight ahead for Amlong, who got behind the defender, but the ball knocked away by Namovsky. Amlong centering ball, and the shot by uh, Orhan is blocked by Pisano. Ball dumps it on the right side to Orhan. Orhan tries to center. Pisano blocked that, and Kondrich comes away for camp. Yeah, a little fortunate there. Oscar and Tomo got caught flat foot there. Nice outlet by AJ. Good reflexes, quick reaction on, by the defenders there. Yeah. That's our good trademark. We, when we make a mistake, we cover up quickly for I've it. seen you do that a time or two. Oh, hey. Once in a while. Here's Maurer to Kia. Oh, Kia, Kia got pushed. Oh, he got pushed and got knocked away. Cato fell down, though. 
But Orhan was there to steer the ball back into Lakaweki. I got two minutes for that right there last uh, Sunday. 3.23 to play. And they send it ahead midfield for Amlong. Amlong working against Pisano ahead to Orhan. The ball was deflected, I believe, by Tomo a little bit, and that allowed Billy to hold on. Tomo quickly recovered. Left side outlet to Tobin, ahead for Kia at midfield. Kia on the right side comes in on Mahalik. Good ball. Left side for Tobin. It sure is, and he knocked it right against the post, and Lakaweki pinned it there and held on. Lakaweki stepped outside the box. We got two minutes oh, coming no. up on somebody the other way. Oh, bad call. I think Tomo just ran into A.J., and they're calling him for... Uh, Deliberately holding a goalie or whatever it is. A, yeah, well, Lakaweki had a foot outside the box when he threw that pass, too. But they didn't catch that. I think mean, Tomo was just trying to get back real quick, and uh, he ran in the path of the goalie. Gondrich think, gets two. First penalty on the Invaders. It comes at the 12.01 uh, mark of the third period. So Louisville will go on the power play for the first time. The Invader penalty killers... 24 of 85 for 72%. The Louisville power play is a question mark to me. And all the talent and all the offensive firepower they've got on this team. And their power play has not been very good. Only 15%. Their power play is the worst in the league. That's, that's kind of surprising. Kenny Lola yeah. and gets a big round of applause you here for Lola and the man down team. Only nine goals and 60 attempts for Louisville. How do you figure that out? That's it's mind-boggling here. You got uh, you got the top scorers in the league out there. Great uh, talent on this power play team. It's Lola, Kramer, Randy Pikasinski, and Steve Frick, the penalty killing unit for Canton. They seem to do well against us all the time. Helen Camp, Gabera posts up and the left side it comes to fall. Now back at the red line to Helen Camp. And Gabera had some trouble with that and Savick had to chase it down at midfield. A minute 42 left in the penalty. And we got 240 to go in the quarter now. Helen Camp, middle of the floor, to Amlong, posted up, and back on the right point to Savick. Now Helen Camp, he shoots wide, rebound comes out behind Amlong, and Frick controls for the Invaders. Frick, ball knocked away by Helen Camp, but Lola controls for Canton. Kenny Lola up the right side of the floor. Now ahead for Randy, but it was headed into the quarter by Helen Camp. A minute 16 left in the penalty as Ball clears it out of the Louisville end, and Helen Camp crosses the midfield circle with a minute 11 left in the penalty. Now Savick, right side of the Canton red line. Shot hit the post, headed out by Randy. Ahead to Frick. Frick on the run with Helen Camp. And Helen Camp dumps it back to Lakaweki. Ahead to Savick at midfield. 59 in the penalty. Savick winds, fires. No. Blocked by Kenny Lola. And in the corner for Art Kramer. Kramer trying to get around Savick. And he goes down. No call. And Amlong gets it back in the corner, but a bad pass. Frick will get that. Frick around the boards. Helen Camp chases it down. And again, they have to back it up to Lakaweki. 40 seconds in the penalty. Fall, left side at the Louisville red line. Midfield circle for Helen Camp. Minute 32 in the quarter. Helen Camp, left side feed for Fall. Back to Helen Camp, 29 in the penalty. Helen Camp to uh, Gabera, shot blocked again by Lola. And Savick with a shot and score. And the goal will go to Amlong, and I think Gabera might have deflected it first. Well, they, Louisville was kind of lucky there. Gabera mistrapped the ball, and it, it went right to Zoran, and it knocked it across to Gary. Am Long from Gabera. Time of the power play goal will be 13.40, and again, Louisville has tied it. And I hate to get on the officials, but both goals have come as a result of questionable calls. The two-minute penalty on Kondrich that was highly debatable and they had a, a foul down here that really set up the possession for Louisville that, that was a, another questionable call that set up the first goal. Officials sometimes, when they don't have a, a foul for a long period of time, they get itchy and they want to pull that blue card out. Here is Maurer back to Kondrich at midfield. And now Maurer, left side to Tobin, minute five in the quarter. And Maurer down in the corner, left side, back out to Kondrich, who's in the left point. Tomo moves left to right, shot to Kia, and he... Handball. He oh, yeah, it was a handball on Surrey, and no call in the box. Out front it comes, Kondrich with a shot blocked by Gabera. 47 seconds left in the period. And Tomo, middle of the floor at the red line, feeds left side for Pisano, who got inside Gabera. He got inside another man. He centers right between the legs of Maurer. Tobin with a follow, no. And Lakaweki holds on with 32 seconds in the period. Outlet midfield for Gabera. And he's knocked away by Kondrich. And Pisano controls it. He's taken down by Helen Camp. 
And if what Kondrich did was two minutes, that sure should be. But it won't be. It's a foul. Game is tied 2-2, 24 seconds to go in the third quarter. Tobin, red line, and he pushes it ahead for Maurer. Back to Yari, clears that one into the crowd. The Invaders will put it in play with 17 seconds left in the period. Touchline right, just outside the red line. Game tied 2-2, and it looks like we may go down to the fourth quarter to decide it, Timmy. Oh, I tell you, it's, it, this game is not as close as that scoreboard. We are just pounding away at their net, and it, it just won't hit it. Well, they've had opportunities. This could easily be 7 or 8 to 2 right now. Real easy. Could be 7 or 8 to nothing. Tobin, middle of the floor, Kondrich at the red line. Kondrich, left corner for Maurer. Maurer back to the net against uh, Bakhtiari. 10 seconds in the quarter. Kondrich, couple of steps in. And Tomo dumps it down for Kia. Three seconds, and they won't get a shot off. That's the end of the third quarter. That should be two minutes there. That's the end of the third with a score. The Invaders 2, Louisville 2. Back. Defensive zone. Touch line left side. So they will try to resume the pressure right away here in the fourth quarter on A.J. Lakowiecki. I think Trevor made a nice move here, keeping uh, putting uh, Rudy's line or the Primo line out there. Where they have a little bit more speed than Kia's line. Uh, I think he wants to get that momentum back. Magic dumps it over on the right point to Mike Paxos. Paxos moves inside. Nice move. And his shot is blocked by Mahalik. And Trevor Dawkins in a race with Amlong. And Trevor, with good position, pins it up against the boards as Amlong clears by. Left side feed to the Magic man. Celestin backs away. Midfield, it comes to Paxos. And now on the right side to Dawkins. Back to Paxos, ahead for Pikasinski. Rudy trying to get inside Mahalik. Mahalik with a push, no call. And Rudy bounces it off the boards for Dawkins. Dawkins fires for Kramer. Headshot. No, Rudy's follow is in the stage. Goal kick for Louisville with 14-20 left in the game. A nice set play. Uh, they worked it around over one side and hit it to the weak side. Already nine a nice head ball off the boards. They're doing everything Rudy. except finishing. Oh, and they're really finishing well, too. It's just hitting the post or AJ's post, there. Post, crossbar, AJ. I mean, it's, it's not that you're missing bunnies. They're just hitting the shots. They're not going in. You know, if my mother heard you talking about shooting bunnies, she'd kick you. Uh-oh. 14-12 to play in the game as Lakowiecki comes out across the uh, red line. Long ball off the top of the glass. Oh, and it, a score by Amlong. It hit the top of the glass and took a funny bounce, and Amlong rammed it in. That was a lucky goal. That's, that's how this game's going. The bounces are going their way. Amlong from Lakowiecki, and Louisville leads for the first time. Three to two. Time of the goal, 57 seconds into the fourth quarter. Boy, that was that was one of the most freakish things I've ever seen in this game. That ball could have bounced 30 different ways. And it bounced right to where Emlong had a shot at it. And the invaders trail three to two. Kramer drops it back to Celestin, the magic man. Left side at midfield. And back to Dawkins. Dawkins, back edge of the midfield circle. Ahead for Pikasinski in the corner. Rudy back to the net on Cato. And Rudy looking for some help. Paxos trying to get inside. Rudy and Cato fight in the boards. They got it free out front. Outside to Kramer. Left side Magic. His shot, no. Rudy couldn't get the head on it. And the rebound comes all the way out on the right point to Paxos. Paxos with a move around one. Ball knocked away. Dawkins there to chase it down in the midfield circle. Back to Kramer. Kramer inside for Rudy. Back to Artie. Give and go. Ball knocked away in a sliding tackle by uh, Mahalik and coming the other way. Louisville dumps it ahead and Amlong speed Namoski with a move around Mahalik and clears it ahead for Trevor Dawkins. 13-16 left in the game, Louisville three, Canton two. Dawkins left side at midfield for Magic Celestin. Celestin across the Louisville red line around one to Kramer. Kramer winds and the ball lands right at the feet of Jim Gabera and Gabera will try to clear for Louisville and dumps it back in the goal box for Lakowiecki ahead to Cato. Cato right side at the red line. 12.56 to play. Left side at midfield to Gabera. And back it comes to Saeed Bakhtiari. And now Helen Camp on the right side at midfield. Helen Camp ahead for Surrey. Surrey unmarked. Shot knocked into the corner by Namoski. And coming the other way is Celestin. 
So Leston with Rudy to his right and Kia to his left. He's in. He scores! Magic! Waka Waki went the wrong way and Magic drilled it in the left corner. And it's tied 3-3. Three, three. I'll tell you what, that was the same shot uh, Magic hit earlier that hit the post and came out, and this time it stayed in. So Leston picks up his 10th goal of the year. It comes at 2.25 of the fourth quarter. And I'm going to wait on the assist on that. Oh, I man, know. that came way back. That could have been Billy. I think Billy took, no, that may be Trevor. It might be Trevor. We'll wait on the announcement. Because it started way in the back. Magic took it the length of the floor, so... They're going to call that unassisted. Uh, it's, it's, someone gave him the ball in the Somebody back. Somebody gave him the ball, and if they gave uh, if they gave Orhan an assist on that one goal for Louisville, somebody should have gotten one on that one. Uh, I think Billy or Trevor gave him the ball. I think so. I think it was either Billy or Trevor. Savick with the ball in the Canton end in the corner, working on Pisano. Mauer to double team. Savick got between the two of them, but Condrich deflects to the red line. Surrey dumps it down. Maybe Rudy too, coming up the field is uh, Kondrich, right side to Tobin. His pass is behind Maurer, but Maurer able to knock it away from Savage to Pisano. And now here that comes Maurer. Maurer wide in. fires, oh, no, yeah. and the rebound to Kondrich. He shoots, it's blocked by Hellenkamp, and Savick comes the other way. Savick's got Gabera clearing, but the ball is blocked, and Kia heads it over to the midfield on the left side to Maurer. 11.44 to go, Maurer tripped over the ball, but Kia took it back from Gabera. He beats left side, and Gabera stepped in front of the pass to Maurer, and the ball was knocked away. Outlet Surrey. Surrey sends it ahead for Helen Camp. Helen Camp for Gabera. Gabera right side at the Canton red line. 11.27 in the game. We're tied 3-3. Surrey dumps it into Savick. Savick in the left point area. Pisano and Tobin there to front him. And Zoran Savick tries to clear for Gabera. He and Kondrich go down, and the ball flies out of play, deflected by Tomo. And it will go... Uh, that's a good hard Out tackle. Of play and a kick in for Louisville. Good hard tackle by Tomo there. Jim and uh, Gabara was fighting them all the way, and Tomo out uh, out muscled them there. Who do you think we should give that assist to? I don't know. They're they're asking us. I think. I, I I'm pretty sure Trevor gave him I the ball. I think it was Trevor. Point. I think Billy knocked it to to uh, Kia, and Kia knocked it over to Trevor, and Trevor just knocked it up field to Magic. Back to Yari Wall feed. No, Helen Camp wanted to follow Namaski with a good play to punch that one free. And uh, Mauer trying to get around Savic. Savic took the ball away. And Savick to the middle of the floor. Feeds left side. Gabera got a weak shot. And it's steered into the waiting arms of Namoski. They're going to give it to Trevor? Now well, we'll see. 10.56 left to play in the game as Condridge comes out at a walk. Game is tied 3-3. No team fouls yet in the period either. Well, the second half's been a clean half. Rudy for Kia. Back to Rudy. Clears down inside. Wants a feed. Ball is blocked by Helen Camp. And coming the other way is Amlong. Amlong with Rudy on D. And Rudy took it away at midfield and got it back to Mike Paxos, who steers it back in the goal box for Namofsky. Bill Namofsky ahead for Condrich. Ten and a half minutes left in the game. Magic Celestin, who just scored the tying goal for Camp. Midfield circle on Helen Camp ahead for Rudy. Rudy tried to knock it away, and he couldn't control. And Orhan comes the other way for Louisville. Bakhtiari had good D on Rudy that time. Paxos got inside of Orhan, oh. but they call in for the foul. That was a bad. Mike, Mike, good position on that one. And Mike did a good job on that play. First foul of the period, though, so no big harm done yet. 10-15 to play. Orhan centers, and the ball hit Amlong in the hand, I thought, but they didn't get a call. There's a shot wide and blocked by Magic, and Dawkins will try to clear and dumps it over on the right side. Still in the invader zone is Celestin. Thunder backing up on D. Ten minutes in the game. Trevor Dawkins, left side of the floor. Dawkins sends it long for Magic. Magic can fall in the race. Magic got there first. Bicycle kick through the box. Rudy takes it down in the left corner. Cato couldn't get it. Rudy looks to center. Magic shoots. It's blocked out front. I think Gardy got in the way on that I think Gardy did get in the way Trying to that. set a screen up. They That's dump it all the way back to the Canton red line. Dawkins That's waits for it there. It's twice today that one of our guys screened him. Ahead it comes to Pikazinski. Rudy left side. Around one, feeds outside. The pass was short for Magic. And Mike Fall coming up the floor for Louisville. And they drop it back for Mahalik. Mahalik wants the left-footed shot. He just missed it wide. And Orhan for the follow can't get the shot away as he's fronted by Kramer. Left side shot. Oh, kick saving a dandy oh, by Namofsky. That's the play of the game. Unassisted oh. on the goal by Celestin oh, is the official word. Yeah. 
Celestin up the floor for the Invaders. Drops it back for Trevor Dawkins. What a play by Bill Numoski in front of the Invader net right there. Come That's from, the save of the night. Come from nowhere. Oh, my. Beautiful play by Billy. Kramer pushes it ahead for Pikasinski, trying to get inside Cato. And Cato able to deflect the ball out, and he clears up the left side of the floor. 8.45 left in the game. We're tied 3-3. Paul Cato winds, dumps it over to Gabera. He has to chase it in the corner. Back to the net on Tobin. And out front on the point, it comes to Chris Hillenkamp. Kramer out to front him. Now Cato, middle of the floor. Cato, a couple of steps in on Paxos. Right side, it comes to Orhan. Orhan, out front. Cabrera posted up, back to the net. Tries to move around to Camp, and Cato put it in the cheap seats. Right, we'll give him that shot all day. 8.23 left in the game. Goal kick invaders. We're tied at 3-3. I think that save by Billy sparked us a little bit there. That was a beautiful save by Namoski. Oh, he'd come from the other side of the goal to get there. I hope the cameras were working. You put that one on the highlight film. Definitely. 3-3, tie game. Namoski shovels it straight ahead to Don Tobin. Toby across the Invader red line, and his pass is blocked by Helen Camp. and Louisville comes the other way. I think we got Les Scarilli out there for Steve Mauer. Right Helen now. Camp left side for Savick. Savick out front, shot through the box. Condrid chases that into the corner. Louisville will have to back away. And Tomo will bring it out. Left side at midfield for Scarelli. Lesh, pair of fresh legs in the game. He scored a goal in the power play. Tobin oh. is hammered. Lesh on the give and go feed. He shoots just wide. Oh, the foul. There was a foul, foul on the play anyway. That's the first one on Louisville in the period. And uh, Tobin will put it in play from just outside the arc. 7.54 to play in the game. Invaders three, Louisville three. Tobin to Scarelli. He shoots no. Rebound loose. Lakowiecki got there just ahead of Kia. And the outlet comes to Surrey on the right side. Surrey midfield then that one was in the crowd and almost hit a lady in section 13 and with 743 to go in the period the invaders will put it back in play there'll be an official timeout we'll take a quick break the score Canton three Louisville you now you play games like that where the ball just don't want to go in but in the past we've come through and won those games and uh, right now the way we're playing we should pull this one out again Scarelli midfield left side comes to Condrich Tomo Airborne, it was wanted for Tobin, but it was headed away by Fall. Condridge gets it back at midfield. Back edge of the circle, Pisano. And the right side in the Louisville zone to Tobin. Now Kia. Kia with two defenders around him drops it back for Scarelli. Scarelli, a couple of steps in back to Kia. Wanted less than the give and go. The pass was behind him. And Amlong took it. And now uh, here comes uh, Mike Fall. Fall wants the shot, instead feeds Amlong left side. Centering ball, no. And Orhan with a shot. Score! Oh. Oh, that could have been a handball. That might have been a handball on fall, but of course they're not going to call it. I, I think that did hit him in the hand. Well, referees looked at each other, and they're, they don't even know where they're at right now. And Louisville goes back up 4-3. Suppose you got to give the goal to fall, huh? Yeah. Time of the goal, 7.56. And the assist will go to uh, Orhan. And Louisville leads 4-3. Pisano ahead for Scarelli. Scarelli working on Mahalik. Lesh spin move in the right corner. Uh, Mahalik with the deflection, but Lesh got it back. Lesh moves through the middle. And Condrit stepped inside, and the ball knocked away. And Amlong couldn't control because Scarelli knocked it back to Namoski. Now it's Pisano at the Canton red line. 6.42 in the game. Louisville leads by one. Ahead for Don Tobin. Tobin back to Scarelli in the right point. Lesh for Kia posted up. They tried to give and go again, but Cato knocked it away from Kia that time. Orhan tried to clear, but the ball was behind Amlong, and Condridge chases it down in the invader, and Louisville wants a line change anyway. 6.23 to play. Scarelli left side at midfield. Lesh comes in across the Louisville red line for Tobin up front. Tobin backs it up. Condridge right side Pisano. Pisano lets it fly. Lakowiecki with a save. And Cato clears, and that just falls shy of being a three-line violation. So Namofsky has to take it on the bounce, and it comes ahead to Condridge. Six minutes to go. Condridge forward, down in the corner, Scarelli. Scarelli working on Mahalik. Mahalik with a deflection ahead to Gabera. And Gabera feeds it midfield to Savick and Louisville on the attack. Savick's got fall open up the left side. He feeds shot wide by Gabera, and Condridge will try to clear it out for Canton. And Tomo backs away as uh, Savick clears off and ahead to Pisano. 
5.37 to play. Louisville 4, Canton 3. Pisano, back edge of the midfield circle. And Oscar, right side for Kramer. Kramer, back at the red line to Pisano. Pisano, left side for Dawkins. Dawkins, midfield circle. Chicago leads 2-1 at the half over uh, Memphis. Right side, Kramer, whoa, and hit just wide. Follow out front and knocked out of play by Cato off the feed from Kramer. Corner kick Canton from the left side with 5.07 left in the game. Louisville leads 4-3. When you look at the way this game has been played, that score is not indicative of all. This would be a tough loss. Oh, it Very sure would be. Every, every bounce has gone Louisville's way tonight. The calls have gone their way. Three of their goals have really been garbage goals. Oh, yeah. The last one Especially was a nice one. The, the last one was nice, except it was, might have been a handball. Yeah. Well, when the goal went in, both referees looked at each other and then they decided to call it a goal. Outside, Kramer with a shot blocked in the corner. And Paxos tries to clear through. Rudy can't get it. It's knocked out of play by Bakhtiari. The Invaders will put it in play. Touchline right with 5.01 to go. Well, right now, so we got Louisville just desperately clearing each ball out of the zone. I think we got them in the defensive zone here. And uh, Fouls are not a problem. Only one on each team. Paxos, midfield, backs it up to Namofsky. Namofsky comes out across the red line. Louisville's all but one guy inside their own red line. Namofsky all the way to midfield, all the way outside close to the Louisville red line. Now he backs up in the circle, comes closer again. Ahead for Rudy. Rudy spins trying to get around. He shoots. Oh, and hit the crossbar. It hit Lakowiecki in the hand first, I think, and then hit the crossbar. AJ come up big again there. Boy, he had some heat on that shot. 4.30 to go in the game. Celestin left side at midfield. Invaders on the attack, they trail by one. Magic working on Hillenkamp, now on Gabera, and feeds right side to Paxos. Paxos gets inside, he shoots, hit the crossbar again, and the rebound comes outside to Trevor Dawkins. And back at the red line to Namoski, 4-10 left in the game. Louisville four, Canton three, home field win streak on the line here. Namoski. I'm speechless right now, end. Bobby. I just, there's nothing to talk about. We're just doing everything Demosky, right. he takes a shot. He almost scored. Like a lucky, almost dropped that ball in his net. Gabera. That's how this game's been going. Right side. Oh, wouldn't that have been something? Here is Surrey. Surrey to Savitt. Savitt backs it up. Helen Camp, midfield. 338 left in the game. And they'll back it up to Bakhtiari. And now Lakowiecki. Helen Camp, right side. Ahead to Savick. Savick against Paxos. Clears ahead. Helen Camp and Magic in a race. Magic gets there first and clears it back to Namofsky. 322 left, and now the crowd getting back into it. Here is Celestin. Right side for Dawkins. Dawkins moves in on Gabera. Dumps it back to Magic in the middle of the floor. He's against Helen Camp. Left side to Kramer. Kramer on the point. Back to Dawkins. Dawkins backs up. Crosses with Magic and now feeds Rudy. Back to Trevor on the give and go in the corner shot. No. And uh, back to Yari sliding play to knock that one out of bounds with 2.56 left in the game. Louisville four, Canton three. Kia, Shkreli, and Celestin have scored for Canton. Amlong twice, Paul and Mahalik for Louisville. Decision time here for Trevor. What line does he want to put out there? It's like Rudy and Artie and Magic's line were coming pretty close to scoring. Uh, you got about a minute, minute and a half to play, then you got to call a timeout and pull the goalie. 2.57 in the game right now. I think he's going to go with Kia's line. Yeah, Tobin, Kia, and Maurer is back in on that line. 2.57 left in regulation. I think you, you got to wait. You can wait till about a minute 20 or so before you call a timeout. So they got a good minute and a half shift here to try to get something going here. Now you don't want to give up that, uh, the fifth goal and give him a two no. goal lead. Tobin dumps it in. Orhan and Pisano fight for it up against the right sideboards. Pisano moving, trying to get away from the double team and uh, gets outside to Kia. Kia, right side Oscar, 245. Centering ball, Maurer shot, no rebound, hit the post. Oh, and Lakawaki boy. didn't get it. Maurer comes outside with it, looking for the feed to Tobin. Tobin to Kia. Kia, right side to Pisano, 234 left. Pisano inside, oh, he's getting held, no call. And they uh, dump it in. Orhan had a handful of his jersey. And now you get a foul 
This time the hold goes against Louisville, their second foul. Tobin will put it in from the right corner. 227 left in the game. Louisville four, Canton three. Tobin outside Pisano off the boards and you've got a whistle and a foul on who Amlong apparently that'll be the third one on Louisville 225 left they'll kick it in again this time from a just inside the touchline Tobin looks looks right point Pisano back to Toby in the corner Toby Tries to come outside. Fall knocked it away, but Maurer comes away with it for Canton. 217. Pisano shot blocked out of play by Amlong. Again, the invaders will control. Now 216 on the game clock in regulation time. Now here comes the set play now. We've got to have a set play here. Louisville four. Canton three. 215 left in the game. Tobin again from the right corner. I think Trevor wants a timeout here. He does. And while he takes one, we'll take a quick one. Louisville four, Canton three, five. With a sixth attacker on the field, this would be a great time to break that streak. Well, we, you know, we don't really have to go to it too often, Bobby, so we're really not that good at it. We're usually winning the game at this point, and we're usually defending against the sixth attacker. But uh, last year, a few times, Oscars hit one at the buzzer to tie it. We've scored with three seconds left in the game to tie it. Uh, don't count these troops out. They've been playing real well. Oh, no. And uh, if there's any luck on our side, it's got to come sooner or later because uh, we've had nothing but bad. They're sure due for some good, for some luck here. They haven't gotten it yet tonight. Uh, the referees want Oscar to change. I don't, I don't see no difference in the, the colors. are totally different. Well, they'll make him put a different one on. Swanner's got a... See, now that's another consistency. The referee's picking on something stupid like that. And... Uh, he should be worried about the game instead of what color the officer's got on. Now you might make him change it because AJ has orange on and Oscar's putting orange on. Well, this is kind of a reddish, a little more red than AJ's. Pisano will be the sixth attacker. It'll be Celestin to put the ball in play from the corner now as they brought the primo line in. Well, no, it's a big dip. It's a different line. Maurer, Pikasinski, Scarelli with Paxos. They dump it out front. Pisano, he lets it go. Hit the crossbar. Oh, that hit both bars. Yep, and a long lead, and pisano has got to chase it back in the invader, and 2.06 oh, left to go. That hit. They hit the sidebar and the crossbar all in one shot. Good Lord. Pisano ahead for Magic. Magic working on Gabera. Minute 58 in the game. Now Pisano at the midfield circle. Long lead. Maurer, Lakowiecki held him, and Pikasinski dumps it up in the air. And I think they're going to call that a goal kick. Lakowiecki uh, sure could have drawn a holding oh, call there. That was a questionable call there. He let it play on. And now they give him the goal kick. Louisville's gotten every break he could possibly ask for in this game. Cato dumps it back in the box for Lakowiecki. Minute 49. Cato ahead for Bakhtiari. Saeed left side at midfield. Maurer back on D, and they dump it back for Lakowiecki. Minute 40 left, Louisville by one, 4-3. Cato sends that one long. It's headed back by Celestin, stays in play. Rudy tries to head it over. Cabrera can't control. Paxos got a piece of it, and Paxos, with good hustle, tries to move it away good from strong, Cato. Good strong tackle by Mike. Drops it ahead for Celestin, minute 22. Magic, right side for Pisano, and again Celestin. Celestin, left side, Scarelli fires, no, rebound comes out to Paxos, minute 12 left in the game. Paxos dumps it back to Pisano. Pisano down in the corner for Maurer. Maurer, left side, backs it away. Cato, trying to get inside, obstructs, no call, now they get the call. That's the fourth foul on Louisville with a minute two left to play in the fourth quarter, and Louisville leads 4-3. It's crunch time at the Civic Center. Here we go again. Celestin to kick it in from the left corner. Celestin for Scarelli. Scarelli around one. He shoots. No, knocked away in the corner. And Celestin gets it back. 55 seconds left in the game. Pisano. Oh, he let it go between his legs. He's got to chase it back to midfield. And a bad pass taken away by Fall, but knocked away from behind by Pikasinski. Cabrera and Rudy fight for it on the boards. Rudy comes away with it. Fall got it back, and they clear it back to uh, Bakhtiari. That should be three. He sends it long, three-line violation. Take it back to the Louisville red line with 37 seconds left in the game. 
Pisano will be the trigger man. Now they got to put it on the spot. 37 seconds left to go. Louisville by one, 4-3. Oscar to Magic. Magic looking, looking inside. Now backs it ahead. Oscar lets it go. Deflected in the corner, and Lakowecki holds on with 30 seconds left. Long lead, three-line violation again. Go back to the red line with 27 seconds left. 4-3 Louisville. Invaders trying to force overtime. The home field wind string is on the line. The Invaders have won 36 in a row in this building. They trail by one with 27 seconds left in this one. Pisano down in the corner for Scarelli. Scarelli trying to center, has some trouble with that. And Lesh working against uh, Surrey has to come around 19 seconds. Magic with a shot, blocked out of play by Gabera. 15 seconds left to go. Touch line left side, about seven, eight feet inside the red line. Celestin and Scarelli both next to the ball. Lesh taps it to Magic, and the shot out of play. 12 seconds left. It'll be a goal kick, and things don't look good for the home team right oh, now. Yeah, look, it looks bad now. Magic had to keep that shot in play here for a rebound or something. Yeah. Now we got to win the ball back quick. We'll get about eight seconds by the time we get the ball back because AJ's allowed to hold it for five. And then they better intercept it right away. Right, they have to almost intercept it right away. Well, I tell you, it's not over yet, but it'd be a tough loss, right? I tell you, Bobby, we were all over their net. They had four, four real cheap goals, and uh, we're on the short end right now. Lakowiecki may just kick this long. He does. Rudy knocked it away right to Lakowiecki. And he holds on, and he throws it out and knocked away, and they call a foul on Pisano with six seconds left. Louisville will have it at midfield. And... They'll have to put it in play again. Rudy, they want another second put back on the clock, and I think they're going to get it, yeah. Maybe two, but they've got to get a steal and a quick shot. Yeah. They've got to go almost the length of the floor in five seconds. Fall ahead, Gabera. They don't get it, and there's not going to be enough time. And they call a foul just for good measure. One second left. The streak is about to end. Louisville is going to go to 21 and 9. The Invaders will fall to 21 and 8. Pikasinski for Magic. And that's it. It's over. Louisville has ended the streak with a 4 3 victory over the Invaders. Boy, Bobby, we, the last time we got beat, I think it was by Louisville. And we it got was by beat, Milwaukee. Or Milwaukee, but uh, Louisville beat us last time up here on a, on a freaky three-line deflection that went in by past Jamie. Louisville becomes the first team to ever win more than one game in the Civic Center. What a shame the way to end the game. A shame the way it worked out because it's a happy win for Louisville, but I'll tell you what, they did not deserve it. And I'm not being sour grapes. They did not deserve to win this game. And it's one of them games where you want to play the opponent and you just, you just don't win it. The Invaders salute the fans. Die you know, hard. you knew this streak couldn't go forever. Uh, Diehard performance, though. We're, we're limping on, on one leg out there. Uh, playing guys that haven't played for a while. Gutsy performance. Yeah, that's true. It's a shame it's got to end like this. And... Uh, Amlong, the offensive player of the game. Pisano, the defensive player of the game. Final score, Louisville 4, Canton 3. We'll be back to wrap it up in a moment. The Canton Symphony playing ragtime? You bet. And it's happening at Cable Recital.